Hi everyone and happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's been having a really lovely day. I have. I met up with a friend who I haven't seen in a couple of months. We went and had some late breakfast followed by a tea and had a look around and then I came home and got my food shop. So tonight I wanted to talk about something that's really quite important to me as an individual and I wanted to also talk about this because I thought it'd be a really good way of maybe changing or well not really well add perspective and a viewpoint with the hope that it can maybe reconsider any the view of anyone who watches this about the topic I'm going to discuss. So as you probably might have seen from my last from a video I did a few weeks months ago, I have autism. I was diagnosed when I was four years old and my last video was about popularity contests which was something I grew up with and had to endure and receive and the, bl the blows of the blunt force with. So t a lot of people on the autism spectrum choose to use the word autistic to define themselves and for a lot of people that is absolutely fine. It works for them. Everyone on the spectrum is different but for me it's a word that I don't like to use and it's not a label that I feel comfortable to go by. That's because the word autistic to me puts my uh, autism or what society and this culture has labelled as a disability first ahead of me as an individual. So instead of the word autistic, I choose to go by and use the term neurodiverse or aneurotypical. So neurodiversity is linked with the brain and it basically means variation in the brain and brain mythology and so other conditions go that fit on the spectrum of neurodiversity are things like dyspraxia, ADHD, Tourette's, dyslexia, as well as many, many others. Like the gender spectrum, it is very, very vast. So I choose the word neurodiverse because for me, that puts me first, puts me as Eleanor first with her love of theatre and history and who can remember and draw link to things within stuff I am passionate about. Now, neurodiversity is something I didn't actually come across or hear or I didn't hear the word neurodiverse until maybe a year or so ago, a year, maybe two years ago. And this was on an episode of Elementary called Ex Manchina, I think it was called. There was a character on the show called Fiona, who I think was played by an actress called Petty, Petty, oh no, not Petty, what was it? Betty Gilpin. And in it, she said that she was neurodiverse or neuro a typical because it put her first and it showed and it and for her it suited and could show to everyone else around her just how smart she was and in many ways and that she was just like every woman but just the world was a different place for her at, in her eyes and when I heard that, for me, that, I just, it just felt so, so liberating. 
and when I and I was in my head I was going wow actually that's something I want to use that's a word I feel comfortable with using that feels like me that makes me feel good inside it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable or like a black sheep in a field of white sheep or uh what's another example a red daffodil in a stream of yellow daffodils so i have been using the word neurodiversity ever ever since and i think it's just a great great word because as I've said, it puts the individual first and it's just got much more positive connotations and it really says and puts across how that person is just unique and it's not something that should be feared or raised an eyebrow against. That person is just unique and they are special and they might have different and individual qualities and interests that should that would actually be really positive and can make a difference so as gender diversity is really taking prominence in the last few years and because there are so many fantastic role models that are inspiring many to change and adapt their perspective on gender or what it means to be a man a woman or even that there is also many other genders that you can go by such as non-binary i feel like that there <clears throat> should be more there should be more um more role models should be able to come forward and hope and to express their views and their perspectives in order to maybe inspire others and to give people who have been given the label autism or autistic to and give them a chance to find something that works for them and makes them feel good. As a society, I think we are still very, very much defined by our conditions, by any con conditions we may be, we may have been scientifically or medically diagnosed with. Where and so when we are diagnosed with those things, that label is automatically given, and in some cases that can reflect social and cultural prejudice but also the lack of willingness to understand from a more human perspective that this person is a human being and we are all different and we shouldn't have to fit into one mold so that is very much my opinion on the subject if you've got any more views or anything you might wish to say to the discussion please comment below i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time with another video bye